What's up everybody, Axel Fuentes here, and today I'm gonna to be removing the front license plate from my car and installing the bumper plugs in its place. I'm gonna call this the front plate deletus. So, got my drill, got the bumper plugs, got the willpower, and I have the hat. So, let's dive right in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up the bumper plugs. So they come from North Carolina. I thought they were coming from California. But let's go ahead and pop these open, see what we got. Why aren't you popping open? Good old bubble wrap. And that actually pops. And we get two bumper plugs here with detailed instructions. So these are color matched to uh, the code PX8, I believe it is, for uh, which is pitch black for the Dodge Charger. So we're gonna be very careful with these because they look very nicely painted. So here's the instructions. And here are the plugs themselves. So these will go right into where the um, license plate holes are on the front bumper of my car. And here in the instructions we have, read this first. These products are fragile until installed. Check color and measure holes, drill holes to 932s, 932nds of an inch with drill bit. Quarter inch drill bit, open hole beyond quarter inch. These require a three quarter inch depth in the hole. Do not bend or force the cap too much will break the paint if the hole is too small and large as instructed. Push with thumb and do not hold cap by edges. So the first thing I need to do is remove the front license plate. There's two screws that hold the plate to the mount, and there's two screws that hold the mount to the bumper. Ugh, gross. Maybe I should wipe that down just a little bit. Up next, it's time to drill. I am using a 930 seconds drill bit. Drill nice and slowly, and straight. And then the first plug snaps in like a Lego. And then I have to drill out the second hole. And the second plug also snaps in like a Lego. I also went to AutoZone and picked up this license plate combo. It's a frame and plastic cover combo. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the back plate. And I'm gonna be using, uh, I'm gonna be using the two of the screws that were provided to me by the dealer. These tend to hold the plate on a little bit better. And it also makes it easier to take on and off. Nicely done. And so here's how it looks completed. And the front. A little bit dirty, but no more front license plate. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to head over to bumperplugs.com and get your bumper plugs today and get rid of that front license plate if you live in Ohio. I'll see you guys next time. And remember, Mopar or no car.